Hey there Titans, welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video we'll view the validate field in the push to Salesforce option. So we have here a simple push. Um, we're filling up the account information and pushing it to Salesforce. So let's take a quick look at it. So we're creating an account. We've mapped the field. An account name and address and we have a field here so I can demonstrate the validate field that I created. It's called tempfld, which is a temporary field, which I will delete in a minute. And in the action, currently we're using the create, we have something that's called validate fields. And I'll explain in a minute what it does. First, let's publish this guy. And we'll say test, and we'll fill up some information here. And we'll do temp, temp and we'll submit. <clears throat> and let's view our account. So here it is. And here's our temp field. Okay, now what will happen if I'll head to my um, account fields and go to the temp and I'll delete it. So basically the next time I will try and push this, let's try it. And submit if I'll head to my integration logs, I'll get an error because there is no such column as temp field. We couldn't find um, a field like that because the data was the data model was changed in Salesforce. So in order for, for us to protect you from this happening, we have this guy here, validate fields. So what this will do every time before we push to Salesforce, we make sure that all the fields exist. And in, if some of them does not exist, then we'll remove it from our push, uh, push uh, to Salesforce. So we're gonna do test push. And we're going to put some information here and submit. Now I'm going to head to my integration logs again and we can see that the account was created. And this is how it's done. 